and that there's a difference between being compassionate for individuals and children who are struggling with something and wanting to make sure they're protected and how it's being done. And I think that the president um, has a big heart, as we've talked about in a lot of other issues, and there's a big difference. Personally, uh, you know, he, he addressed this issue when it came up uh, with respect to one of his properties. But he also believes that that's not a federal, it's, it's not a federal government issue. I wanted to update on some very recent news. You may have heard yesterday that the federal government reversed the previous guidance that had been provided to colleges and universities and schools uh, regarding the protection of transgendered individuals and their access to restrooms. Um, frankly, speculation is also rampant in the higher ed press about um, a possible lessened emphasis by the federal government on other aspects of Title IX compliance as well. Um, I just want to assure the board that regardless of what the federal government is forcing us to do through their compliance requirements, um, this is something that UH is committed to. Um, um, we have done a lot of work over the past three years on Title IX um, and Violence Against Women Act compliance. With continued financial support, we have absolutely no intention of retreating from any of that progress we have made. Um, we are committed for our reasons to equity and safety for all the members of our community. Um, more specifically, um, independent of the guidance that had been offered by the last administration, that was revoked yesterday, UH was already committed to our LGBTQ plus community uh, on matters of restroom access and, and more. Um, we had implemented a preferred name policy last year. I think I had updated you on that. Um, was something that our LGBTQ plus commission helped us with. And we're also in the process now of a policy uh, that assures access to restrooms based on gender identity and also to uh, the construction of gender neutral uh, restrooms or identification if there aren't any available uh, construction with new projects when we are um, either doing new or renovated projects. So um, I, I do wanna thank, we, we have a strong and helpful LGBTQ plus commission at the system level um, and they provide uh, thoughtful, consistent and firm pressure on us at all times to keep them in mind and keep their rights in mind.